What is up, Snipe Squad? God damn, I ain't like that one. Snipe Squad, what going on? Nah, that shit kinda took too long to get in the seat. Hold up. Snipe Squad, what it going on? Back again. It is your boy, Sniper Joan Joan. And I'm back with another video. That's so dog, you heard? Today, I'm super excited, man, because we got a video unlike any other. You know what I'm saying? I honestly did not see any of these videos out. I personally kinda made this up myself. It ain't really a thing, but I made it a thing. You know what I'm saying? Today, we got a video, a top 10 video. Y'all know at the end of the year, you always gonna get these top 10 videos by all these sneaker YouTubers and it's super dope because these are our opinions. These are what we think about whether top 10 sneakers we picked up or top 10 sneakers in our collection. All that good stuff, which I'm pretty sure y'all didn't seen. I dropped one myself of the top 10 worst sneakers to drop. And uh, if you got some kicks on there, bro, you might want to throw them away. That's on me. I ain't, you know, ain't going to hold you. That, that's your thing. But anyways, man, if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button because we grinding. We got goals to hit. Also, follow me on the gram if you're not already because you sleep, man. Not only do I do story giveaways, I also post some of the dopest pics you probably ever, ever seen. You know what I'm saying? For all my people out there who bought the merch, thank y'all so much, man. I really appreciate it. Merch is linked down below, man. Get that Sniper Jones merch at Way Before the Fame. We still got a few sizes left. Don't be caught slapping. The hell does that even mean? Don't be caught slipping, boy. You don't want to be one of them niggas that get it. Man, hold up, man. Cut the beat. You don't want to be caught slipping? Little nigga? All right, man. Check this out, bro. I kind of made this video up. Uh, Like, I made this topic up and I kind of made the rules up so if you don't like the rules then I don't know bro you on your own yep uh, I made the rules man basically y'all know Christmas coming up actually today is Christmas Eve tomorrow is Christmas Day and I put together a top 10 list that I would want for Christmas now this don't mean y'all gotta buy nothing even though you know what I'm saying I ain't turning nothing down boy I, that's on dog you ain't gotta buy nothing but this is like sniggers that I did not pick up that if I had like Santa came through and was like hey yo young boy write down 10 shoes nah Santa won't talk like that Santa talk like this hey yo my nigga write down 10 sneakers after you get done writing down the 10 sneakers they gotta be in your size you can't resell them after that you know what I'm saying I'm gonna call up my mans and we gonna see what we can do you heard so if that type of Santa was to pull up on me these are my top 10 sneakers I would want in my collection because either a resell is too high B, they came out like a long time ago and resale is too high. And C, nigga, nigga, resale is too high, man. Do I have to explain to y'all how much sneakers cost after you miss them, especially the ones I'm gonna name? If you're new to the channel, you know your boy Sniper Jones, y'all ain't no hype beast. Even though this list is gonna be some hype beast shit, bro. Because honestly, the stuff I would want for on my wish list will be some expensive stuff, so I ain't gotta pay for it out of my pocket. I'm just be honest. All right, man. So starting off at number one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably keep it all this year, you know what I'm saying? Besides like a few pair of sneakers, but starting off at number one, the number one shoe that I need, the one shoe that I will put on my list will be the Chicago Jordan 1 Off-White, bro. This sneaker is so hard to get right now. Number one, like a dead stock pair in my size is like $1,500, maybe even more. On top of that, bro, it's one of the original 10 pairs of the off-white silhouettes. I remember when these ones first dropped, the day they came out, I think all these dropped the same day. And as you can guess, I took L's on sneakers just like uh, everybody else, man. These off-white Jordan 1 Chicago's are honestly one of the dopest shoes I think I've ever seen in my life. To this day, whenever I see them, I kind of like lose my breath a little bit. I know a lot of people that have them, and it just sucks, man, that I can't have these, man. It, it really do suck. Damn, man, this video depressing as hell. I'm about to be talking about all the shoes I don't have. But hey, man, all y'all be thinking I get everything. I don't get everything. It's a lot of shit out there I wish I did have. Number two, number two on that list is another off-white, man. Say what you want. I told your ass before the video started that this shit gonna be kind of high beastie. Number two is the off-white Presto. Not the second release, even though you know what I'm saying? Your boy really like that second release. It's the first release, man. What I like more about the first release is, as you can see, man, the off-white Presto, the original. First of all, I like the lace swap, right? The lace color. These came with the orange and it came with the green. The second pair that dropped, it was a white one and an all-black one. They just came with, like, solid laces. It's cool. The orange laces, ah, ah. That shit cool, but this pair is so dope, man. Like, whenever I see these, bro, I think I like these more than the Chicago ones, to be honest. Like, these two, 
man, I need these two so bad. This off-white Presto, first of all, Presto's in general, I do have a bunch of Presto, so it's not like I'm just naming this one out the blue. It's just the colorway is so dope, and I love the swapping of the laces. Once again, these off-white Prestos, man, is just another one of those original 10 models of the off-white. I was in line for these. I actually thought I was gonna get them. I think they were the first off-whites to drop, period, that day when all these came out. And as you guessed, your boy took that fat L. So that is another sneaker I wish I pick up. Number three is a sneaker that didn't come out this year. Actually, it came out a long time ago. And I promised myself, when I hit that 100K mark, I will buy these sneakers for me. Dead stock, which is a pretty penny. I'm not even gonna hold you. That is the Paranormal Phone Posit 1. Y'all all know I love my phones. If you're new to the channel, you probably don't know that. Yes, I know I don't review as many phone posits as I once did, but that's only because I gotta be true to myself. I'm not liking the phone posit models as of late. They really haven't been doing a good job at pushing out colorways that I agree with. 220 to 250 is just way too much money to spend on a sneaker that you really don't like like that. That's why I'm just, I don't know, man, I'm copying what I like. If, if phones come out with something crazy, I'm copying. Until then, I'm not. These Paranorman phones, as you see, are easily one of the best phone posits ever made. And when I say, when I hit that 100K, this is gonna be my present to myself. I'm copying these, cashing out. You know what I'm saying? I'm catching up. That's on dog. Number four is a unpopular shoe, but it is popular in a way. These are the What The Dunk Lows. Now, these are honestly one of my favorite What The's. If not, this is my favorite What The. Now, the Dunks aren't as popular as they once were. I don't really know too many people at all that rock with Dunks. Shout out to my boy One Legged Lister because he's a Dunk fanatic. I know Tony D liked Dunks a little bit. When I did that last video with him, we talked about Dunks for a little while, but this one might fall by the white side for a lot of people, but as y'all can see, man, this pair is super dope, and that is why it's still expensive to this day, and that's also why I don't have it. Number five. Now, number five is one of my closest friends I've met on YouTube, which is Unbreakable Kicks. He throw these sneakers in my face whenever he gets a chance. Not only did I tell him these are my favorite sevens of all time, he he just like, after I told him that, it just like was no slowing down. He just FaceTimed me for no reason like this. Snipe, snipe, <laughs> what up, boy? <laughs> What's going on, you know what I'm saying? Oh, these, oh, you know, these ain't nothing, you know what I'm saying? Balling, boy, you know what I'm saying? I kid y'all not, man, it's actually pretty irritating because Lord knows I want the Myro sevens. Now, I don't know if I'm saying that as correctly as I possibly can. I'm from up north. I got a little different lingo, but some people call it the Miro. Some people call it the Myro. Me personally, I call it the Myro 7. The Myro 7s are one of the dopest concepts I've seen on a Jordan 7. I'm not really a big Jordan 7s fan. I know a lot of people are. Me personally, I like the 3s. I'm a 3s type of guy, but even though 7s are my favorite silhouette, this colorway is absolutely crazy. i seen Jimmy Butler had a pair of these. Jordan Brand sent them. I was like, Jimmy Butler, you lucky mother... Coming up at number seven is another unpopular pick, but y'all know I'm from Cleveland. I'm a huge LeBron James fan. I Now I'm a Lakers fan, obviously. But besides that, the MVP LeBron 10 has always been fired to me. Once again, I know a lot of people with this sneaker, particularly me, myself, I need it. The only problem is the damn price. You guessed it, man. It's just way too much bread for your boy to be spending, so of course I don't have it. Not really too much. My favorite model of all time is the 9, but the MVP is kind of like a what the mixed with a lot of things going on. That's during this time when he was with the Miami Heat, and of course he won that MVP award, and my boy Daniel Lister, one-legged Lister, he has these as well, and every time he posts a pic on Instagram, I don't like it. I'm a hater. Next, we have a Jordan on the list. Now, as y'all know, a few weeks ago, it was Dornbecker season. With that being said, the Dornbecker Jordans are always like the most sought after. Now, with that being said, one of the sneakers I will put in my list at number eight is the Dornbecker 8. Ironically, it's 8, Dornbecker 8. I just think that the Dornbecker 8 is like the, the model. That is like the, that is the shoe. That is the signature shoe for all Dornbeckers. The Dornbecker 8 is probably like one of the most cop Dornbeckers of all time, but it's also one of the dopest. I do love the Dornbecker 5, and I love the Dornbecker 6 as well, but it's something about the DB8, man. It's just no other DB to me. It, it, oh, and the 4s. Oh my God, them DB4s. As far as you know, that, that symbol of a shoe, that status symbol, the 8 hands down has to have that, and Lord knows I would love to get my hands on some DB8s. Lord, if you're listening, help out your boy Sniper Jones, Jones. You know what I'm saying? 
Coming in at number nine is another off-white. I know y'all gonna kill me in the comments, but hey, if you true to my channel, you know me, bro. You know I ain't no beast. I just told your ass, like, look, if the shoe gonna be on my wish list and I can get it for free, why not let it be an expensive knife pair of kicks that I really want? And that is the off-white Vapor Max. Now, y'all know I have the second version of the off-white Vapor Max. Let me go ahead and get that real quick. It'll just be one second. Here we have it right here, man. The second pair of off-white Vapor Max. These are absolutely dope. The first pair, though, the first pair is easily what the hell? Easily the best off-white Vapor Max that we have. Now, like I said, just like the Presto, this one re-released twice. Uh, this got the blue laces, and the blue laces is dope. Like, don't get me wrong. I just love the orange and the green laces. Like, something about those two combos on a sneaker that has nothing to do with those colorways and just let it pop like that. Like, I'm telling y'all, man, it's super fire. I wish these came with the orange and green laces. I know I can get them so separately but i don't know man it's just something about them coming together I, I would like that but number nine will be the off-white vapor max the first one even though the second one is dope i give it to him the second one is very fire i just want the first one and coming in at number 10 you know i had to end it off with a classic one of the most if not the most classic in the sneaker community a sneaker i don't have a sneaker i'm surprised i don't have i tried and i tried and i failed and i failed coming in at the end we got the jordan one bread now the jordan one bread is obviously one of the most recognizable one of the most historic jordan ones of all time aka the band ones these are the jordans that were banned from the nba i mean like bro it's classic it's nothing too much it's nothing extra going on and honestly i could probably pay that price to get these i can i could pay that price to get these i ain't you know what i'm saying I'm, your boy snipe doing good you know i'm all right boy i can i can afford it i might be getting these pretty soon but since i don't have them it's only right i put these on the list because these are a must-have jordan one in my opinion you have to have these so guys let me know down below in the comment section how y'all feel about my video on my top 10 sneakers to get for christmas Please let me know your top 10. If you don't even have a top 10, top three, top five, I'm reading them and I'm replying to them down below in the comment section. It's Christmas time, man. I hope y'all enjoy your holidays, man. I promise y'all more videos to come. 2019, I'm going crazy. Like, like look in the camera. Hold on, look at the camera, bro. 2019, I'm going crazy. I was nice to niggas this year. I appreciate all the support. That's on dog. But if you watching this, just know 2019 is raps. I mean that. Make sure you follow me on the gram as always so I post some of the dopest pics and do some of those story giveaways. Maybe you'll hit. Also subscribe to the channel if you're new as always. And until next time, it is your boy Snapper Jones. I will see y'all. Merry Krimmer. Gang, gang.